everybody, it's Miss Dana from the Wilson County Public Library Systems. Today you're joining me with a book called Such a Library. It's a Yiddish folktale, but reimagined. Let's see. It starts with the folktale at the beginning. Once upon a time, a man, his wife, and their many children lived in a tiny house. The house was much too crowded and much too noisy. The man went to the rabbi to ask for help. Rabbi, what should I do? Bring your cow into the house, said the rabbi. Now the house was made even more crowded and even more noisy. The man went to the rabbi again. Bring your chickens in, said the rabbi. This was even worse. The man went back to the rabbi. Now bring your goats and your geese and your ducks inside, the rabbi told him. Rabbi, I can't take it anymore. Please help. So the rabbi told the man, take out your cow and your chickens and your goats and your geese and your ducks. The man did. Ah, quiet. Such a big and spacious house. Now for our story reimagined. Stevie sat in a big comfy chair in the corner of the Whisper Oaks Public Library. Ah, quiet. With three brothers, two sisters, and a baby at home, Stevie's house was never quiet. But as Stevie opened his book, he heard pages turning. Whoosh, swoosh, the computer keys tapping. Clack, clack, clack. And the storyteller saying, once upon a time. This library is too noisy, said Stevie. He tiptoed to the, li mis the library and misunderstood. Excuse me, Stevie whispered. Pages are turning, keys are tapping, and the storyteller is once upon a timing. It's like a party in here. A party, said Misunderstood. Wonderful idea, she says. She opened a book and hundreds of colorful balloons flew from the pages, followed by children with party hats and horns. Now Stevie heard pages turning, swoosh, swoosh, keys tapping, clack, click, horns blowing, woo, woo, and the storyteller saying, once upon a time. Excuse me, Stevie said a little bit louder. Yes, misunderstood, said. Well, Stevie said, this library is turning into a zoo. Outstanding idea, misunderstood, opened the book and two monkeys, three snakes, a seal and a kangaroo climbed, slithered, flopped and hopped out onto the floor. Now Stevie heard pages turning, whoosh, whoosh, keys tapping, click, click, click. Horns blowing, woo woo, monkey screeching, ooh, 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 ee, 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 and the storyteller saying, "Once upon a time." Excuse me," said Stevie, a little louder this time. "The library is a circus." Stupendous idea," said Misunderstood. She opened the book. Stevie groaned as an acrobat cartwheeled out, along with two jugglers, a ringmaster, a trapeze artist, and a tiny car stuffed with clowns. Now Stevie heard pages turning, swoosh, swoosh, keys tapping, click, 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 horns blowing, woo, woo, monkey screeching, ooh, 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 ee, 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 clowns beeping, auga, and a storyteller saying, once upon a time. Stevie couldn't take it anymore. Excuse me, he shouted. Misunderstood looked up. Oh, Stevie, I didn't hear you with all the pages turning, keys tapping, horns tooting, monkeys screeching, clowns beeping, and the storyteller once upon a timing. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Stevie yelled. This library is too noisy. Misunderstood frowned. Now, Stevie, there's no need to shout. This is a library after all. She opened the book. The children, balloons, monkeys, seal, kangaroo, snakes, acrobat, jugglers, ringmaster, trapeze artists, and clowns marched, flew, climbed, flopped, hopped, slithered, juggled, cartwheeled, stepped, swung, and zoomed back to their pages. 
She handed the book to Stevie. He took it in his chair and sat down. As he read, he heard pages turning, swoosh, swoosh, computer keys tapping, click, clack, and the storyteller saying, once upon a time. And the storyteller said, the end. Thanks for joining us with our book, Such a Library Yiddish Folktale Reimagined. Bye!